Hello everyone, welcome to my Jungle Gwen Guide. For those that don't know me, I am Killa, a Master's Gwen OTP that has cured his crippling Elden Ring addiction by completing everything in the game. And now that I have no other ways of procrastinating, I can show you how to play Gwen Jungle. Patch 13.18 brought a very generous buff to Gwen's clear speed, so today I hope to show you Gwen's game plan going into the game, along with the runes and items to take as well as the clears you can do with some Gwen specific tricks in the jungle to help you cut down the competition. Before getting into it, if you end up enjoying the vid, like, comment, sub, algorithm stuff, let's get into it. <laughs> Gwen is a character that excels at snipping down her opponents while being completely safe from most CC and damage with her W, allowing you to dictate who to fight and when on your own terms. This is balanced around the fact that Gwen needs gold to get going, meaning she will have very little impact in the early game, forcing you to give early objectives while farming up and sowing your marvelous victory. Meaning so long as Riot doesn't make any changes to attempt to slow the pace of the game down, she is balanced around the fact that jungle is a very aggressive, high impact role that is meant to snowball your team. Not scale for 20 minutes by cycling your camps on spawn. Yeah, Gwen is about to get even better due to the upcoming changes in patch 13.20, in my opinion. Before even getting into the game, let's talk about the rune page you will be going. While Gwen's tank busting skills are a cut above the rest in top lane, her role changes when she's brought into the jungle. With first strike, she becomes a high damage assassin that gets to break the rules of the archetype with her W allowing Gwen to run straight through the enemy frontline and take out whoever she chooses from the fight, as well as getting to maintain the ability to shred tanks making her very flexible in fights, which is very hard for the enemies to play around. Pair this with Ghost and there are not many characters in the game that can escape from her mobility. The other runes you will be going in the tree are very self-explanatory, Magical Footwear for free boots, Futures Market to get your spikes quicker in the mid game, and Cosmic Insight for quicker smite and ghost uptime. The secondary tree comes down to personal preference, being either Sudden Impact Eyeball Collection for consistency, or Absolute Focused and Gathering Storm for the dopamine rush of hitting 1k AP. While sites like OP.GG will tell you to take Conk, it is an absolute bait. As stated earlier, your job is more in line with an assassin or burst mage, so by the time you're 8 stacks, your target is more often waiting to respawn. Also, once you spend around 850 gold from your first strike rune towards any AP item, you constantly have a 10 stack conqueror, which will also increase your clear speed and tower taking potential. The argument being you lose out on conqueror's healing, but if you check the stats after game, its healing throughout is very underwhelming. And if you go past the 1000 gold threshold, you start earning more AP than Conk can ever give, which will increase your passive healing and W resistances, making you tankier than your standard Riftmaker Conqueror build. 1k sounds like a lot to earn, but I personally think Gwen is one of the best first strike users in the game, due to her W letting you close the distance on enemies while they are unable to hit you allowing you to get consistent procs of the rune throughout the game, and the longer the game goes, the better the rune gets. For builds, it will be based around the enemy comp, and what targets are most important. This will change on a game-to-game -game basis depending on if the carries have no dashes or multiple. You will either go Night Harvester or Protobelt respectfully. Both are good options in either situation, but Night Harvester allows insane DPS off of its passive in combination with First Strike, and the extra dash from Proto Belt will help close the distance on enemies a little bit e easier, as well as the Mythic passive providing Magic Pen for your needles. Gwen's Empowered Q does true damage, so it does not benefit from any Magic Pen, but it's still good to take for her ultimate alone. This is why Sorks will be your boots of choice 9 out of 10 times. If you have to take on the role of Tank Buster for your team, you will be going Nasher's first item. Otherwise, your build should some look something like Mythic Item, Shadow Flame, Decap, Magi's, a situational AP item, and swap your boots for Lich Bane if the game goes on that long. 
mess around with the combination of these items and see what works best for you. Now let's talk about the jungle clear. Gwen's buff this patch was to her passive 1000 cuts, adding 4 extra on hit damage and 5% more AP to jungle monsters, and this shaves off a considerable amount of time on the first clear. The fastest recorded time I've seen was a 3 minute full clear by Shapeshift on YouTube. This was on PBE when Gwen's numbers were a bit higher, so this is now closer to a 315, which is still amazing for Leashless. Link in the description for those that want to see the whole thing. While Gwen would prefer to full clear and scale for free, depending on the enemy jungler, you will have to adapt your clear to avoid dying to invades before they preemptively dull your blades. Against junglers like Kane, Shivana, Karthus who want a full clear, you can start bot side and path upwards for a safe level 4 full clear, and a chance at scuttle crab or a gank if the jungler started the opposite side. Afterwards, you want to reset, buy components towards your first item, and keep cycling camps until a lane is pushed up enough for you to ghost and run down the enemy, or more common thing, your laner dies, you go pick up what CS you can while getting spam pings by your laner as they type jungle diff for you not ganking. Gwen is a very selfish character. For those of you that frequent twitch.tv forward slash killog, you know I always echo this idea that you must scale and get to your 2-3 to three item spike in order to sew your team back together and go for the safe guaranteed gold over a coin flip fight that can end your game before it was even allowed to start. That being said, against the junglers that have a very strong early game and could easily invade you, like Lee Sin, Nidalee, Elise, I have a more unique clear. I first saw this from players Dante and Tarzan where you go Raptors red into Krugs, reset for an early Dark Seal, after then you go Wolf's Blue Gromp. This changes the timing of your clear so that if the enemy were to invade you, they wouldn't see you and leave, or if they end up wanting to take the camp for themselves, you'll have an item advantage due to you resetting for an early Dark Seal at around 390 gold. No matter the clear, you will always want to start Q and hit the nearest Blast Cone a few seconds before the camps spawn. This gives you a little extra damage on the first Q due to you gaining one stack before the camps spawn. It's a small optimization that you want to be sure to use every single game. Another trick you can use is standing on the edge of your W, causing the camps to auto-attack you while they're standing outside of it, meaning for 4 whole seconds no camp can touch you. This includes epic monsters like Dragon Rift and Baron, with you also being able to cast W early against the Dragon to avoid the knockback, or against the Baron while you tank for 4 whole seconds without having to receive the 50% damage debuff from it. Your W also increases the jungle's tick damage due to it raising your armor and MR for a brief moment. The skill order will always go QEQ, -E -Q. afterwards get your W. Like I said earlier, your goal is to get to 2-3 to three items as quickly and safely as possible. This means that more often than not you will be sacrificing those early drakes, to either trade Rift Herald or steal enemy camps. League is a give and take a game, so long as you are taking resources while the enemies are securing those early objectives, you are not falling behind. If your team is strong enough, you might be able to secure an early drake, but never force it yourself. That being said, if your team isn't strong enough and they attempt to stop the enemies from taking drake, do not follow. Spam ping them away, type give, and go collect resources. You cannot afford to take these risky fights early. But if your team refused to listen and flames you for stealing enemy camp's topside instead of being a part of Katarina's triple kill, let them be. You can outscale nearly every champ in the game so long as you are efficiently collecting resources. Ganking on Gwen will revolve around your laner's CC in combination with your Ghost and Ultimate. This makes Ionian Boots an alternate boots option if you are alright with skipping out on Sork Shoes. This will give Ghost more uptime as well as ability haste for your spells. 
Another option I have been testing is Approach Velocity over Cosmic to give you more consistency on sticking to your opponents when your Ghost is on cooldown. I've only tried it for about 10 to 12 games, so I can't say if it's better or not, but it's really fun. This has been my Jungle Going Guide. I hope you all enjoyed and learned at least one new thing watching this vid. If you want to see me play this pick, I have multiple games on my channel as well as me streaming every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday on my Twitch. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, something about a bell. Have a great day. Where is it? Oh my god, her recall got cancelled. Nice. Fortunate. BG, you know why. gonna hover him. Gotta go in on this. <laughs> Zareth is not happy. They sold grief the game, Nocturne will for sure be farming Zareth. <laughs> The call was not the move, it's still not completed. Oh yeah, what's up, Suki? Um, my rank is D1 1LP, but we are currently on my alt account, which is Emerald 3 0LP. This account is just for jungle, and then my main is for top lane. <laughs> the Maw, baby. The Maw did absolutely nothing at the end for him there.
honor the Garen for having to deal with Alawi. Not a lot of damage this game. Time 10 on the first strike, though. Pretty good. 